A war of words has ignited another row over our history. In what's believed to be an Australian Council first, Sydney City has voted to describe European settlement as an invasion. Critics say it's political correctness gone mad. Liv Kasman has this report. Australia Day has long sparked debate. Neither, it seems, will Sydney City Council. We're describing what occurred in 1788 and its devastating impact on the Aboriginal community as an invasion. In its Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander statement, the Council has replaced the words European arrival with invasion. It came after bitter division within the Council and a threat by some of the 15-member Aboriginal advisory group to quit. And we had many members of our Aboriginal panel sitting in the gallery and they were very happy about that outcome. This is the word that people understand and know it to be true. But the government says it's divisive. Reconciliation and progress can only be built on language that unifies us not language that divides us. Councillors weren't unanimous in their decision with the vote carried 7 to 2 and there's been an equally mixed response from the community. It does offend me a little bit but um, probably have more important things to worry about apart from what politicians are having to say. There's been a lot of social development I believe because of the European contribution, so I wouldn't quite call it an invasion. It's clearly a measure that's designed to advance political correctness rather than uh, uniting the nation and bringing people together. But the Lord Mayor is standing firm. Our Aboriginal community, our advisory panel, told us um, th that it was important, and so we've listened and we've responded. She says there are no plans to change Australia Day to Invasion Day. Leave Casbin, ABC News, Sydney.